everyone welcome to hello grace in this video i am going to show you how to calculate and update data within an excel workbook i have a use case which is the student database which contains student marks subject 1 and subject 2 we need to sum up these two subject and print them in the total column and we also need to find the average result and if the average result is greater than 35 the result is pass or if it is less than 35 the result is fail this is the use case we are going to try it in ui path studio create a new project and add the description of the project drag and drop new sequence into workflow panel and rename the activity drag and drop excel application scope activity then provide input workbook path now read the excel file using the read range activity drag and drop read range activity set the range to empty so the entire sheet is read and in the output parameter use the shortcut control k to create a data table variable i will name the variable as dt input table drag and drop for each row activity and call the dt input table variable to iterate the data table rows then create an integer 32 variable into the output index i will name it as row index this will keep track of count the each row many of them confused with this index variable let me add right line activity to show you the output call the index variable and add a dot to string let's debug the process look at the output panel the index was printed from 0 to 13 but in the spreadsheet we have 14 data rows usually the excel row start counting at 1 whereas the data table start at an index of 0 okay now add an assign activity then call the row index variable then in the value field add dt input table dot rows dot index of current row plus 1 this sets the value of row index to match the current row in the loop this plus 1 is necessary because excel rows start counting at 1 whereas data table start an index of 0 Let's debug it to show you the difference. Look at the output panel. The row index start with one. Now. drag and drop get row item activity to get the subject 1 marks in the row field call the current row and set the column index to 1 and in the output parameter use control k to create a variable i will name it subject 1 then change the data type into system dot double since we are going to add the numbers
drag and drop one more get row item activity to get the subject to marks in the row field call the current row and set the column index to 2 and in the output parameter use the control k shortcut to create a variable i will name it subject 2 then change the data type into system dot double now add an assign activity to find out total marks create a system dot double variable total and assign subject 1 plus subject 2 now in each iteration subject 1 and the subject 2 will be added and stored in this total variable next we need to calculate the average to find out the result pass or fail. Add an assign activity to calculate average marks. Create a variable average with the data type system dot double because the average will occasionally be in decimal points. We choose double as the data type and call the total variable and divide by 2 since we have only 2 subjects now add a write cell activity to write the total values into workbook add the sheet name as data set the range to D plus row index plus one dot two string so it will print the total marks into d2 column and from the next iteration it will continue as d3 d4 and so on then call the total variable then add a dot to string Now add an if condition to make the decision on the results. In the condition field, add the conditions. If the average result is greater than 35, you need to write the result as pass. If the average result is less than 35, you need to write the result as fail. So that drag and drop to write cell activity. one into then condition and another one is into else condition add the sheet name as data set the range to e plus row index plus one dot two string so it will print the value pass or fail into e2 column and from the next iteration, it will continue as E3, E4 and so on. In the then condition, add the manual input pass into the value field. In the else condition, add the manual input fail into the value field now everything is done go to the excel application scope activity in the property panel enable the visible option so that you can see the live updating result into the excel sheet before you run the process close your input workbook if it is an open state now debug the process
the board is updating the result based on our designed conditions. I hope you are clear with this use case demo. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and support. Connect with us for more tutorials.